and we have our live views back. We are now experiencing a sunset on orbit, which is why you see the screen dimming here. Station Houston on two, all hooks are open. And copies. And dragon separation is confirmed. Dragon separation is confirmed at 11.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 10.05 a.m. Central Time over the Indian Ocean, 260 miles in altitude above Earth. You can see some beautiful views as the Dragon spacecraft is departing the International Space Station. The spacecraft... Station Houston on 2, Dragon departure burn zero is complete. Copy, separation complete. Thank you so much, Nicole, to the NASA team, the SpaceX team, and all the control centers throughout the world. It's an honor to have been a part of this mission. Uh, we did some great science, and uh, thank you guys so much for the support. And thank you for all your hard work to make all the science happen. We heard some warm farewell remarks from NASA astronaut Woody Hoberg. He was on tap on the International Space Station to monitor the departure of the CRX-27 cargo spacecraft from the International Space Station. Correction, that was actually NASA astronaut Frank Rubio. Dragon successfully conducted a departure burn zero. That sent it directly away from the space station. That performed as planned, and next up is the departure burn one. Together, both of these departure burns are going to enable the Dragon spacecraft to exit the keepout sphere and the approach ellipsoid. Right now, the Dragon spacecraft is about 63 meters away from space station. Cameras on board Space Station are giving us these live views. We are about two minutes away from that departure burn one. That is going to send the spacecraft further away from the Space Station.
First, is it is going to exit the keep-out sphere. This is an invisible line around the station. It is monitored very closely by flight controllers because it is so close to the station. It's used to govern vehicles approaching and leaving the station. It's about 200 meters in radius. After that is the approach ellipsoid. This is another invisible line around the station that mark that serves as a marker to denote joint operations because of station safety. After the vehicle exits the approach ellipsoid, all, op all operations are handed over to SpaceX Hawthorne teams. Right now, Dry Dragon is flying autonomously, but space station teams are following it very closely because it is still very close to the space station. We are about halfway till we get to that first keep out sphere. Depart burn one has been initiated. We are in an orbital nighttime, but you can still see the burn happening on the Dragon spacecraft right now. And the Depart Burn 1 has been complete, and it performed nominally. Nominally means being performed as expected. All things are good. Station two, departure burn one is complete. Go say again on two, please. Just a notification that Dragon departure burn one is complete. Okay, awesome. Thanks so much. Uh, yep, it was a beautiful departure. Uh, beautiful aurora out to the uh, lower right as it was uh, departing. Very nice. Copy. Sounds like a beautiful departure. And Dragon has also exited the keep out sphere. Copy. Thanks. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get a picture because it was just too dark out there. So uh, you'll just have to believe us. Darn, we've got a few people looking for good photos here on the ground. That was NASA astronaut Frank Rubio speaking with Capsule... The capsule communicator, Nicole Lewis,